Represents the Martians. Yes, the Martians. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's my turn to shuffle these cards that she's going to read and school us fellas on how to treat her and her fellow. And my Venetian lady. Yes. Okay. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Okay. The Mars side says... Right, drum roll, please. The more a woman feels the right to be upset, the less upset she will be. <laughs> that is funny. The more a woman feels the right to be upset, the less upset she will be. That is funny. Hmm. Let her release. If you don't let her release, fella, she gonna hold that bull jive in and it's coming out. One way or another, it's coming out. Let her release that junk. Be upset about it. Learn to... One thing we can take, I think sometimes, fellas, that we can take... Um, take notes of is uh, uh, for older people, older men. Uh-huh. You ever notice how chill older men are? And you ever been to like a family place, right? Family, uh, you know, like a family dinner or something like that. Uh-huh. And women would be in one room and they loud as I don't know what. But a man or whatever, especially the head of the house can be. I've been in the house with a whole rack of people. Mm-hmm. The guy who had a lot of daughters. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Wife and daughters. And I mean, you know, that many females, you know, they can cackle like I don't know what. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I used to trip out how none of it phased him. He could sit and he wouldn't even, you know, younger, we're going to turn our TV because we can't. Uh, he learned how to tune it out. You know what I'm saying? And watch his TV while they just going on and on. I said, man. That must definitely been a guy who grew up in a house with, of course, if he got all those daughters and they grown now. Yes. Right. And I see that as being the same thing because they got they got to get it out. They got to get it out. They got to get it out. And if you don't let them get it out, it's going to come out, like I said, one way or another. You ain't got to listen to it. Just act like you listen to it. I don't agree with that because I can tell when you're not listening. How? So... Well, I'm intuitive, number one, and I can feel when you're disconnected. So, I can feel when you're not paying attention. I can feel it over the phone. What you doing? I know you're doing something. I, you know what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, you talking about how. Okay. No, you can't. So, well, then anyway. take that back. Don't fake it. <laughs> Just let them get it out. Don't act. Do listen. Let them know you're listening. And let them get it out. Don't cut them off. Don't cut them off. Because when you cut us off, it makes us feel like what we have to say is not important. Mm -hmm. And what we have to say is not valuable. And what happens to women when they deal with men that always cut them off and don't allow them to express their voices, a woman will develop an issue. You know, and it usually will be in this area, you know, her throat and her voice. And when a woman attracts this in her life, she may have attracted this for a long time. She may have had parents that treated her like that or whatever. And then a woman will stop voicing her opinion. And that is not good for anybody. But if you're with a man that always shuts you down and and never want to listen to what you have to say and makes you feel like what you have to say isn't worth shit, 
then they're subliminally kind of infusing you with that energy. Like mm-hmm. what you have to say ain't nothing. You're not valuable. What you have to say is not valuable. And that is what gets planted in the woman's space. And, and, and it takes a minute for a woman to heal from that because most women don't even know that those little subtle things are affecting them. It affects their self-worth. You know, it affects, it affects how they feel about themselves and how they might advocate for themselves. And then you get a woman to a point where she just ain't going to say nothing because what I have to say don't mean nothing anyway. And that's not a good place for a woman to be, especially if you're in a relationship with each other, because what's going to happen is somebody else will start to make the woman feel like she is worth something um, or she will just start to heal herself and build up and then she's going to push you away altogether because she will get strengthened and I noticed that a lot of men who themselves have low self-worth do that to women they shut them down and I think it's because of their own insecurities where they have to shut you down and make you feel less than because they might be intimidated by you in the first place and this is something that I work with the people in my group on because this happens a lot with women it really does so what you got to say about this um, you said it all yeah, she, she, I said all of that to make a point yeah <laughs> In that point, we did another episode about yeah. <laughs> women and the reason why we communicate. Mm-hmm. One reason is to make a point. Yeah. So that was my point. What you think about that, though? I agree with you. I can't okay. disagree. I mean, you want to see what the other side yeah, says? Yeah. Okay. It says women. When men talk about their problems, they are looking for solutions. Are they really? When men talk about their problems, they are looking for solutions. Yeah. They are? Yeah. Or they're not going to talk about them. Okay. Or they're not going to talk about them. Or they're not going to talk about them. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. I know when I used to coach when I lived in California, <clears throat> um, there some men found it like I don't know that they really liked receiving <laughs> the information from me. I can see that. Um I, I think if I was a man they would have received it better. I think their egos were too big to receive this depends information. Depends on the subject. From me. Depends on, to me I think it depends on the subject. Now no I'm not telling you because I was like you in authority. It. I'm I'm teaching. I'm okay. This is what you need to do. Da, 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 da. But it was like I used to always get a lot of, you know. I'd be like, why are you acting like I don't know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you what's up. <laughs> you know, and you know, it might have been my attitude too. You know, I can see me doing that. Don't get offended, but I can see me doing that. I Bucking can... up. Yeah, getting the advice from a woman. Right, so that's what, honestly, it, this says this, but before I give a man advice, I might, I don't always ask, because I, like I said, I'm a problem solver, <laughs> mm. but I might ask, do you want suggestions? <laughs> you know, because mm-hmm. I, I, I think I got beat up by men when I was in Sacramento, um, whose egos were so big mm-hmm. that it was hard for them to receive from me. Mm-hmm. So it made me want to like, okay. I, at one point, I even wanted, I didn't know if I even wanted to work with men because mm-hmm. of that experience in Sacramento working with big ego men. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, ugh. You know, so I don't know. I don't know that I would always offer a solution but then if you talk to some guys I've dated, I probably have always. Do I do that with you? Do I, do I always offer a solution to you? No, because I don't talk about my stuff to you. You do too. Not really. Some stuff. Mm, it's a lot of stuff I, I don't, you know. I know, but if you yeah. have talked to me about something, do I offer solutions or? I don't think I talk to get solutions. Okay. I don't, th- I don't expect solutions for my stuff. Okay. I believe in stuff is what it is. Okay. You know, 
And that may be the what you been. That may be the kind of thing why you were getting the kind of resistance you want from men. Why? Because maybe they don't know if there's a solution, and definitely not don't know if a, a woman would know what that solution is. And they didn't respect my position. You know, well, that's a whole other story. So they, you it's, know, it's, it's almost like well, I don't. I've seen it a couple of times, but it's always like, what's the the thing that come on the Oprah channel, Ayanla, mm. mm-hmm. and um, where you know it may be a thing where it always seems like she have a clash. She's clashing with the man who ain't trying to hear, it and she gets angry or whatever. She clashed with the women too. I don't really watch it, but every, I when I either. see previews, it's always, dang, she always clashing with the guy. She the clashes husband. with everybody. Remember she said, you're a ratchet something something. I was I don't like, oh know. my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've only seen like the commercials. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've only... <laughs> I, 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 like, saw oh one episode, I saw one episode, the episode that DMX was on. And oh, she was, I didn't see that. She was... On him. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying. She's very in your face. That's the kind of coach she is. She's very in, in your face and confrontational. Right. And if you don't like that style, then that's just not the coach for you. You know. But men look seem. Any men seem like they definitely not with it. I think really? the, the clashes that seemed like she was having with men was because they won't accept what she's saying to them. Mm. Like you don't know what you're talking about. Like, shut up. You know that kind of thing. Like, mm-hmm. You know. They respect her as a woman, but so I I don't know why you think that is. I don't know why that because I can't disagree with it. I think I might because it says that when they talk about their problems, they're looking for solutions. Well, That's maybe they we talk, are, but, but but we might be trying to give you solutions. But once again, well, if you know once again, about. I think those men on that show weren't talking about their problems. They were like <laughs> they were like didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, so maybe that's a difference. Okay, so if a man does talk to you about his problems, right. then the reason why he's opening up is because... You got to be a special he person for me. Talk about the solution. But with the, with the episode that we did when we were doing it from the book, yeah, he never said I had a problem. So, right, right. But she's trying to find a problem, and he never even. Said and his that it thoughts was, was, "I'll come back when I'm right, ready." Right, right. So yeah. we should wait till they come talk to us about the problem, and then offer a solution. Um, I still, Rory, still mm-hmm. would ask you. So you want? Okay. So you want my opinion, or you want to know what I would do? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Keep, continue to show you care. I'd yeah. say that you know. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't disagree with that. Okay. I can't disagree with that. What it, at all? All right. Well, That's, then we good. Did we read the other side? Mm-hmm, we did. Women have the right to feel up when you allow them to express themselves. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, you know, we did. Do they're that better. First. All right, so we good. We so good. y'all, let yeah. us know what you think. Okay. Yeah, please let us know what you think. Curious to hear your opinion on that one. Let me know if I'm wrong. I can be wrong, fellas. So we are fellas, not relationship experts. We're just sharing our opinions. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. you're not going to know if I'm wrong or not. But fellas, if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> we are not even going to address that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding, ladies. I'm not going to be All right? All right? All right, y'all. All right. Share. Let's know what you think. Love. And peace. Peace and love.